Hello my beautiful friends of the internet and welcome back to another episode of 31 Days of Halloween where every single day in the month of October I do something spooky, scary, or Halloween related. And today we are going to do a spooky self-care night. And we are, it's pretty much just self-care night, only we're going to do like a spooky bubble bath and we're just going to have, I'm just going to try and make it as spooky as possible, okay? Everything Halloween related. So, uh, the first thing that I need to do is wash my face because we are going to be doing a face mask. Sadly, I do not have a Halloween themed mask, but I'm thinking that she may be scary enough on her own <laughs> that maybe I'll look like Michael Myers or something. You know what I'm saying? So at first I need to put my hair up. I thought about just putting it back, but I think I'm just going to go full force and put it all the way up because I do not want her wet in the slightest because I actually just, oh, did that break? Oh, thank God it didn't. Whew. I just did my hair and I always, whenever I do my hair, I try my best to leave it that way for as long as possible. So, because it takes me forever to do my hair. Okay, so hair is up. This is the outfit for our spooky night. <laughs> and I need to wash my face. I have these two pimples coming in right here. Oh my gosh, they're so annoying. I actually weirdly, for some reason when I was on vacation, I didn't wash my face. And I know that probably sounds weird to you, but like I, I'm just gonna say it. I just didn't wash my face because I didn't feel like it. Um, I mean, like, I took showers and stuff, I'm like, kind of, you know, obviously I washed my face in the shower, but I didn't do, like, my whole skincare routine, like, exfoliating and all my oils and stuff. Like, I didn't do any of that. I just, like, washed and then, like, got into bed and the next day just went to the beach all day and then, like, repeat, you know. Uh, and surprisingly, I didn't have any pimples on me because um, you all know that I struggle with these pimples on my chin, which I have Googled. These are supposed to be hormone acne, hormonal acne. Um, I don't know how to fix that because whenever I was on vacation, I don't know, does stress bother your hormones? Because maybe when I was on vacation, I just wasn't stressed, so I didn't have acne, and then now I'm getting a little stressed. <laughs> so now I have acne, I don't know. But it is, it's quite upsetting to me to be honest about it. So we need to wash our face first. Our face is washed and now I'm going to be using this rose gold face mask. I'm kind of excited. I haven't tried it before, but I love rose gold anything. I have no idea what the benefit is. It says toning, rejuvenating, wrinkle reducing, <laughs> wrinkle reducing. I was going to say wrinkle reducting. It's not accurate. Okay. Let's, uh, mm, it smells really good. Ooh. It smells kind of fancy. You know what I'm saying? All right, here we go. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, the thought is so cold, but it feels so good. I had no idea how people get their face masks on their face like so beautiful and perfect. I don't know if it's just like my face shape is fucked or what, but I see like girls on like TikTok and um, like Pinterest and stuff wearing their face mask and it like is blended into their skin and face shape so perfectly that like you can barely even tell that it's there. Do you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Have you all seen that too? I don't know how they do that, but now this stays on for like 15 minutes. So we'll wait. Okay, I'm gonna go lay down while I wait. <laughs> it's time to take it off now. I really hope this like helps my pimples somehow, some way, but I don't know if it will. But oh, voila, beautiful! And take the excess and run it down our neck, like the beauty gurus tell us to. Now that we've done that, it is time to go over here and pick out a bath bomb. 
Okay, I am big sad that I don't have any like actual Halloween bath bombs. Um, I kind of went through a phase where I bought every single bath bomb Lush ever made for some reason. Um, and then I realized that it was just too expensive of a hobby of mine. <laughs> um, so I haven't bought any in a very long time. I'm just using what I have. And right now I have this like orange, it's a uh, bubble bar. So I'm thinking about using that one maybe. I don't know, should I use like a bubble bar and also, I know she doesn't look very good because I've said I've used her before and this is the other half of her. It's kind of hard to say. <laughs> she used to be beautiful, kind of like this one, you know? Um, but I feel like maybe I do need a bath bomb to go along with the bubble bar. Okay, here's the jawbreaker that I'm gonna be using. She's cute. And then this is my little piece of bubble bar that I um, will be using to create bubbles. Okay, now we're in the bathroom. The lighting is doing this weird thing and I'm very sorry about that. Um, but we have our bath bomb and bubble bar and I need to clean out the tub a little bit and get her prepared. <laughs> Okay, so now I need to fill it up with hot water and throw in our bath bomb and bubble bar. Okay, while the tub is filling up, I want to <coughs> out. <coughs> while the tub is filling up, I wanted to Oh my god, what is wrong? While the tub is filling up, I want to create a snack platter for us. Jesus Christ. Also, I'm not using the Jawbreaker bath bomb because the bubble bar was good enough. It colored it and is also adding bubbles. And I will say on camera, it looks a little yellow, uh, but it's like pure orange. So it's very Halloween-y. Okay, so we have our bath thing here that sits across the bath, like when you're in there. Um, and we are going to place everything that we need in our bath on this. So my first thing is my iPad because I like watching YouTube videos. Oh, there's a puppy. I like watching YouTube videos while I'm in the bath. Why did I say it like that? Well, oh, well, oh, I'm in the bath. Okay, I just turned the Keurig on because I wanna make some hot cocoa. Look at my cute little baby ghost mug. She's like the cutest little size. Like I wish you all could see. She's just so cute, I love her. Um, but I have the Keurig on, so sorry about the noise. Uh, but I am going to be making salted caramel hot cocoa. It's by Swiss Miss. I discovered her and I'm in love with her. Oh my gosh, she smells so good. I want to take a sip, but I'll probably like literally burn my mouth off. Okay, now she goes right here in her little baby cup holder, so cute. And now I have these donuts from Walmart that was gifted to me by my mother. So um, I'm going to place one of them on our board here. Okay, I was kind of hoping for like a little baby plate, but I don't, I don't have little <laughs> plates and little or a little plate that is spooky. Okay, we're just gonna place her, oh, they're attached. We're just gonna place her on a napkin. How's that? You know, that looks, you know, looks more aesthetic, I guess. Now I am going to take this little candle that I have. It's got ghosts all over her. Um, I think I showed her to you all whenever I did my decorate with me. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. So I'm gonna set her right here. You want to see all the wax with like my other candles because I accidentally dropped them one time. Now I need to cut the wick and then light it up. Ta-da! Okay, this is our little platter here. Um, you all, well, my phone is gonna go right here. Um, so yeah, this is the little spread we got going on. So cute, I love it! Now that the bath is ready and we have our food set up, I need to set up a light in there to make it all nice and this is a really nice angle, I know. Uh, but I brought my galaxy light. I'm gonna plug it in right here. Okay, so now it's lights out. Ta-da, it's all purple and spooky. Ah! <laughs> and then we have an orange bubble bath. So exciting. So now I need to light these candles to make it very, very, oh God. <laughs> Romantic for ourselves. Okay, because my that camera is not focusing very well in here, um, this is what our little setup looks like. Look how cute. 
Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to get into it. As you all can see, it's like an orange bubble bath. Ugh, obsessed. Then we have our galaxy light here. So now it's all purple, green dots. Ugh, just gorgeous in here. Okay, so uh, I had to come out here because for some reason my camera will not focus in that bathroom. Um, I don't know if it's because it's too dark or what that means, <laughs> but I just wanted to end the video here because now we have our nice cute bubble bath all set up and ready to go and you know, I can't really show you all me in the bubble bath. I mean, unless I had like a bathing suit on, but I don't really want to do that. I just want to enjoy the bath. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I hope you all enjoyed today's episode of 31 days of Halloween. Make sure to like subscribe, hit the notification bell and all that good stuff, because I'm going to be here every single day in the month of October doing something spooky, scary or Halloween related. And you don't want to miss it. Yeah. I love you so very much. I'm so proud of who you are as a person, what you do every day. And I'm going to go enjoy my bath. And then probably after that, I'll shower off and climb into bed. Okay, I love you and I'll see you tomorrow.